On this Valentine's Day, we turn to broken hearts, not from emotional issues, but babies who are born with congenital, uh, congenital heart defects. Yeah, they're the most common type of birth defect, and it used to be that many of them were lethal. But CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tell us that is no longer the case. Dr. That's Max. That's right, and you know, there are actually about 40,000 babies a year born with heart defects, and that number has been going up. Now, while many of those would have been fatal in past years, innovative new surgical techniques and anesthesia have made repairing these broken hearts amazingly successful. One-year-old Jeremiah Powers has a lot to celebrate. A year ago, he was struggling to breathe and waiting to grow large enough for open-heart surgery. It was tough to swallow, you know, that information that, you know, my son would need open-heart surgery in order to live. Congenital heart problems are the most common type of birth defect, but Jeremiah's was more complex than most. Normally, the heart uh, forms with four chambers. In between those chambers, there are two valves. These two valves weren't separated. There was one large valve and there was a hole between these lower two chambers right here and also the upper chambers. Jeremiah's blood was flowing backwards at times, putting strain on his heart and filling his lungs with fluid. He did struggle to breathe. He had respiratory issues. He would retract, so every time he would breathe, you could see his ribs. At four months old and weighing just 11 pounds, Jeremiah underwent open heart surgery at Cleveland Clinic Children's. The chambers and valve inside his tiny heart were separated to function normally and patched in a unique way using his own tissue. I used the covering of the heart, which is called the pericardium. The beauty of this material, obviously, it's pliable, it's soft. It gets attached to the heart and heals very well. And with a repaired heart, Jeremiah is now thriving. It's truly a miracle, you know, with modern medicine um, that he was able to have this successful open heart surgery and that we could celebrate his first birthday. It's truly a miracle. Jeremiah may need another procedure down the road, which is common in kids with congenital heart defects. But for now, he doesn't have any restrictions and can even play most non-contact sports when he's old enough. Now, now, you know, not only can modern heart surgery save tiny babies, but also prenatal testing often detects problems in utero. So the doctors are prepared to care for a sick baby when they're yeah. born. They're ready to go for it. Mm, thank goodness. Thank